We are in the middle of a set of experiments to demonstrate how to generate a product using biotechnology. First, we engineered E. coli to make green fluorescent protein, GFP. Next, we will scale up production using cell culture. And finally, we will purify the product using chromatography. For this part of the experiment, we will be running our colony PCR products through an agarose gel using gel electrophoresis. This method separates DNA fragments by size. In the next video, we will stain the gels with a DNA-specific stain, which will allow us to visualize distinct bands of DNA in the gel, one of which hopefully corresponds to our GFP gene. We will be running three student or team samples per 8-well agarose gel, each of which will be run in a separate electrophoresis unit. Place the gel, which is on the tray, into the electrophoresis chamber, with the sample wells toward the negatively charged black anode. DNA samples will migrate toward the positively charged red cathode during electrophoresis. This is a very important step, because if the gel is placed at the wrong orientation, the DNA will migrate off the wrong end of the gel and be lost forever in the buffer. Submerge the gel completely beneath 2-6 to six millimeters of 1x electrophoresis buffer. Use greater depth with increasing voltages to avoid pH and heat effects. Transfer 30 microliters of each sample into each well of the gel. It is okay if there is some sample that ends up above the well in the buffer, but try not to pierce the agar at the base or sides of the well with a pipette tip. Add the DNA ladder to the first well. This ladder contains DNA fragments of known lengths 2640, 1400, 1100, 700, 600, 400, and 200 base pairs, and will be used to estimate the sizes of our isolated DNA bands in our samples. The second well contains our control DNA PCR product. This should contain our 475 base pair GFP gene and a 190 base pair bacterial housekeeping gene. The remaining six wells will contain plus DNA and minus DNA PCR products for three students or teams. Be sure to write down which samples are in each well. Carefully place the lid on the unit and ensure that the red and black jacks on the top match the red and black plugs on the base. Connect the leads to the power source and perform electrophoresis. We will run at 150 volts, but the voltage can be lower than this. The higher the voltage and the shorter the gel, the faster the electrophoresis will run. However, too high of a voltage can overheat the system, causing various problems. Shorter gels also have less separation between bands. This step can take anywhere from 30 minutes to over one hour to finish. Because the electrophoresis may not finish before the end of the lab, your instructor will shut down the system at the end of the day, wrapping the gels in plastic wrap and storing them at 4 degrees Celsius until the next lesson. Hey, we hope you like this video. This is part of the series GFP production for my bioprocess engineering class. We would like to acknowledge the kit from Edvotech, Edvo kit number 323, GFP transformation extension colony PCR that this work is based off of. Click the link below to visit the kit website.